What's up everyone, it's Drifter here from Team Legacy telling you about the update that just hit the crew. Um, hopefully they fixed the issue, you know what I'm saying, with the connectivity with your friends racing because some of my friends are still getting kicked. But if you notice, I'm sitting in a brand new car. Um, they added the brand new 2014 or 2015 Corvette Stingray. You can perf this car. It looks pretty freaking sweet. Um, and they also added something now where you have ranking in PvP events, whether you run the John Solo or you run it with a crew. Depending on your ranking, rankings, you get different stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go to the headquarter and basically show you how the John work. You know how that works. Uh, I guess trying to get more people to play PvP on this game, keep this game alive. I guess and that's what it is, man. I mean, you would figure though before adding more shit into the game, you know, they would try to fix what's wrong with the game, you know, like do some general patches and stuff like that. I mean, that's just, you know, my personal opinion, but to me, you know, I really haven't had anything. So you have a league store now, you know what I'm saying, where you can buy different shit depending on your uh your ranking. You know what I'm saying? So like level four basically all you can get is a bronze paint job. Then you got level three, you can get some rims. Really, I only like the third rim over. The rest of them look stupid as hell. Paint job, paint job, paint job, you know, for the bronze division. Then you get into the silver division. Pretty much same, you know, paint jobs, just a different color. Same with the gold division. And then you get down to the platinum divisions. I mean, so it's really, you know, nothing too spectacular. As you can see, there's a lot of cars that... You know the rims can't go on and shit like that i'm guessing the red mean is not available the white mean the, that rim is available for those cars i mean but um anyway we will get into a race with this corvette here a short one and for those of you who watch my video you know about make the uh, fastest way to make money in the crew i'm sad to say that that race is no longer that faction race is no longer in the crew which i'm disappointed about you know maybe it was a limited time event but i mean as you can see it was right here and it's gone now so if you missed out on the event you know um, um, i apologize or if you know you watched my video and you couldn't find that i apologize for that but i mean it was a good race and i mean hey it was fun while it lasted but you know some of my favorite races to run you know just a short jump it's easy observatory dash you know i like to run that if you got a good perf car you know get the longest course down here at the bottom one a check out that's a fun race to run but my all-time favorite it is the longest race that i personally run it's an off-road race or well mostly off race it's called showtime um it's a dirt spec john is definitely fun you get to see some you know more off-road once you hit checkpoint 13 and so on but it's kind of a rally race you know what i'm saying where you got like you know some pavement mixed in with some dirt but definitely the nicest race that i found so far scenery wise but anyway we could go over here you know what i'm saying and we could test out this corvette i'm pretty sure this junk gonna be crazy man it's gonna be sliding around you know what i'm saying got all that torque and whatnot <sighs> i didn't have enough money to max this out it's at 999 but I just want to see what this thing can do. I got it in matte black. I don't know. I ain't want, you know, like some standard Corvette color, you know, like fucking red. Like, you know, who the hell has got, you know, owns a red Corvette case of point to person in this race. But I wish they'd have left those side, like, extensions off of it, man. Like, I think that looks stupid. Like, why are you going to widen the car out, man? I don't understand that. So far, you know, pretty damn good, man. Like, I'm liking this jaunt. The handling feels pretty solid on it. It's got some pretty damn good performance as well. Um, this is probably one of the better Corvettes they added. I know last time, you know, they added two um, old Corvettes on the one DLC. I'm not sure if this is a DLC, but definitely a well-welcome car into this game. But, I mean, me personally, I still like to see some imports, yo. Like... Bring me a Toyota Supra, bring me a Mazda RX-7, Mazda RX-8, you know. Give me a Nissan Silvia. I, I'm not complaining. I mean, I think the Corvette Stingray is an amazing car. It looks pretty sweet. All right, it does fishtail a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So if you don't like the sensitive handling, you can take that off. But I'm kind of liking it. I'm not complaining. I like to drift. It'll take a few races to get used to. 
pretty awesome car though. It sounds amazing. It looks pretty freaking awesome. Whether or not I'll keep it matte black on, I mean, I, I do like the color on the car. You know what I'm saying? Got the Batmobile going on right now. You know, rocking that junk. <sighs> I'm kind of scared to boost nitrous on this junk, to be honest with you. The way it's fishtailing. And look at that, man. BMW just trying to big boy me there and pass me, yo, but I won't have that. He ran off the course. He couldn't, he couldn't keep up with the big dog. Definitely not the best performing car, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, it is probably one of the nicer looking John. I've always hated that exhaust in the middle look for a car, though. That really hasn't been, you know what I'm saying, my biggest turn on. I like the exhaust, you know what I'm saying, one side or the other, you know what I'm saying, or, you know, both sides, not, not the center, especially a single pipe. I don't know. It, it, you know, I, I just think it looks stupid. You know, I, li I like the import style, you know what I'm saying, you know, where you got it, like, coming out one side, it's angled, you know what I'm saying, you know, at a slight angle, you know what I'm saying, and angled up. I mean, I think that looks pretty sweet. You know, you got that Japanese look, you know, that, that stance style or whatever you want to call it. Ah, that D1 drift style, you know, like the classic drift cars, man, you know, the way they had their exhaust with the heated tips and stuff. That's what I'm into, you know what I mean, the, if I had a Corvette Stingray, I'd probably had the pipes, you know what I'm saying, coming out one on either side, you know, or two on either side. I can't stand a single, you know, that, that middle exhaust exit on a car. I don't know. It's, that's just me. I'm old school, you know. <laughs> uh, not the best handling car. I mean, it's all right, you know. I mean, I've driven worse on this game. That's for damn sure. Let's see what that interior looks like. Nice looking interior with the carbon fiber. I was a little mad. I couldn't put the wood grain on that John, but I mean, it is a high-end sports car, you know, so that's understandable. Couldn't put the aluminum in it, so it was either, um, I think the, uh, or the anodized, whatever you want to call it, I believe it was aluminum. It was the only um, carbon fiber and the official that you could put in this car. But uh, the carbon fiber looks sweet, though. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. It do look pretty sweet. I do like that. You know what I'm saying? Nice interior on this car, man. They did a lot of good work on that junk. I've actually got the city inside the new Corvette Stingray on. Um, last time I went to the race, they had one out there, man. And that's pretty much spot on, man. Lines and everything, you know. Nice beast of the car. I'm going to be interested to see how much I can win this race by once, you know, I max the car out. I'm going to have to spam the shit out of a lot of those long races, though. Because that uh, fast way to make easy money race is gone. But um, anyway, that's going to conclude this video. Hit that like button. Subscribe. And uh, if anything else, you know what I'm saying, comes out with the game, you know, any more updates, any more cars, I'll keep y'all updated on that. It's Drifter from Team Legacy. Peace out.